it's interesting to just see sort of um, how people's reactions uh, to our politicians change in a time of crisis. It's hard to imagine, it is very hard to imagine someone in a leadership position doing the wrong thing uh, in certain instances. And I think the capacity in these instances to do the wrong thing increases with in direct inverse proportion to your responsibilities. In other words, you know, uh, Chris Christie is on the ground there. He does, <laughs> this is his job. And, you know, to his credit, he's not letting any of the politics sidetrack him. The president also has to, a job to do. Part of that, of course, is influenced by politics. But, you know, the attempts to sort of isolate um, the Democratic governor, I think, at the time of uh, Louisiana, uh, were fairly well documented and fairly explicit pretty quickly after Katrina. And so you, you have to see it through that prism. I'm not being naive here, but I want to play a clip of Mitt Romney at his so-called relief rally. I don't know what he was calling it, but it's, it's now widely been reported that not only did he ask in an attempt to change the victory rally, immediately they just renamed it, rebranded it, relief rally, to try and make it legit, even though apparently, according to uh, his campaign manager, some volunteer just accidentally hit play and played his RNC video espousing how great of a business leader he is. They did all the things that one would anticipate at a victory rally in Ohio, but they wanted to juice it to make it seem like it was about relief. So they asked their followers to bring in canned goods, which everyone from every relief agency said is not helpful. Not only did they ask their followers to do this, but they went out and spent $5,000 at a Walmart to buy cans to give to the people coming in, so it made it look like this was legit. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute. I'm not being naive. I understand that there are political implications to when Obama goes and, uh, to New Jersey. I understand the political impetus for calling it a relief thing, and I understand that, logistically speaking, it might be hard to change the badges from victory, whatever. And I understand that it's even possible that maybe a volunteer just said, this is a good time to play the uh, Romney promotional video. But there was an affirmative choice to spend $5,000 on props when all they had to do, if they really wanted to do something, if they had even a modicum of desire of doing something, this millionaire, 100 times over, 200 times over, at least 300 times over, could have just gone onto a website and donated 5,000 bucks to the Red Cross and not had any transport costs, had no other costs. The money could have been donated there directly, and they could have paid for it. But they actually went out of their way to go buy props, useless props. Did Mitt Romney make this decision? I don't know. Someone he appointed did. So let's play this clip of just explaining how out of touch Mitt Romney. Remember, this guy was a governor who got actually very low marks for responding to disasters in Massachusetts, by the way. But maybe this is a, a little bit of an insight as to why. This guy's so desperate to make a connection that they're buying props, and he says this. It's just bizarre. I remember once we had a, uh, a football game at my high school, and the football field afterwards was covered with all sorts of uh, rubbish and, and uh, paper goods from people who'd had a big uh, celebration there at the game. And there was a group of us that was assigned to clean it up. And I thought, how are we going to clean up all the mess on this football field? Just, there were just a few of us. And the person responsible for organizing the effort said, just line up along the, the yard lines. You go between the goal line and the 10-yard line, and the next person between 10 and 20, and then just walk through and do your lane. 
And if everybody cleans their lane, why we'll be able to get the job done. And so today we're cleaning one lane, if you will. You know what's also interesting, aside from how just sort of nakedly out of touch this is, is he's actually, this story, he's relating this story to comfort the people at his rally. Do you understand what the implications of this are? It is, I know you feel like you're not doing anything by handing us back the cans we just handed to you. But if we all stay in our lane, we're all contributing in some fashion. He is telling a story to comfort the people at this rally and make them feel like they've done enough. Now, I'm not claiming... You know, look, I, I, I'm not saying that this is not about moral indignation here. This is about a demented worldview. I'm not on my high horse. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, I'm not. Donate a few bucks. But Romney's literally telling these people at this thing, they, look, he's, he's comforting the wrong people. He's actually dissuading them for having any more empathy other than what is just in your lane. It's just bizarre. It's bizarre. 